Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome back. Oh, 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 no, you're not supposed to see that one. <laughs> That's for my private time. Since I got the Steam Deck, I've been asked, can it run Kingdom Come Deliverance? Well, in today's video, we're going to find out if that's the case. I will say, if you want to see more game tests on the Steam Deck, make sure to leave a like and comment down below what game you want to see. But without further ado, let's hit play. Charles the, Charles the Fourth. Here we are. Okay, we're in the main menu, as you can see. Uh, the game is running at a locked 40. One of the nicest features of the Steam Deck is you can modify this thing to no end. So, what I've currently got it set for is a refresh rate of 40 hertz, okay? And I can then bump this down to a frame limit of 40 FPS. For this video, I'm gonna bump it back up to 60. But when you're generally playing games on here, 40 FPS is absolutely fantastic. And it allows you to basically bump up all the graphical presets and play the game at a smooth frame rate. Because 40 FPS does not feel like 30. It feels a lot quicker. But for this test, we're gonna bump it back up to 60 and we're gonna see exactly what this is doing. So right now, uh, we're currently sat at 55 FPS on the main menu. I'm gonna quickly go into the settings and show you what I've got set up here. Um, so in graphic settings, uh, we're at 1280 by 800, which is the resolution of the Steam Deck itself. Uh, we have overall image quality is custom. HD textures are turned off. V-Sync is on. We can probably turn that off. That's fine. Um, I'm going to head into advanced. These are my advanced settings. Um, so we have SMAA 1TX. Object quality high, 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 low. I turned down shader quality because that definitely had an impact. Um, shadows, um, textures are all high. Uh, basically, you can run this game on high uh, with that 40 hertz, and it really doesn't dip <laughs> for my tests on this so far. It's incredible. Um, but let's actually jump in here. <laughs> the idea of being able to play this portably, though, is absolutely insane. I just love it for that. Um, but we're going to jump into um, my previous game, which is my hardcore playthrough. And I have dumped everything because right now I haven't got any mods installed. Um, but you can, in theory, mod this game to your heart's content. You can do that. I don't know if you can hear that, but the fan has kicked up quite a bit. <laughs> which is understandable, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, with a game like this, you're looking at around um, 45 to 50 FPS. Um, so that's why I've got it set to 40 hertz, just because it runs that bit smoother because it isn't constantly going up and down between 50 and 40. So it's quite nice to have that 40 hertz turned on and that's what I'd recommend personally. Um, but as you can see, um, I'm running around here absolutely fine. Uh, I can do everything that you should be able to. I can jump. Look at that! Oh, it's so bloody brilliant! Oh my god. I know one of the things you're asking me to do right now is go to Retai. We will go there, and I think you're going to be incredibly impressed by um, the FPS in Retai, because I have tested this. Of course I have. I've had this for like four or five days now, and of course I played Kingdom Come Deliverance first. <laughs> That's really to be expected. But if you're thinking about buying this console, I can say right now that uh, this game isn't an issue. It runs really well on here. Really well. 50, it dropped down to 47, uh, 45 there, 57. So as I said, yeah, definitely set that 40 hertz limit. Just makes it run a lot smoother and feel a lot smoother. Um, but we can go and talk to people. Hello. Let's talk about Ratai. What kind of lord is Hanush? What kind of governor is Sir Hanush? Sir Hanush is a good lord. Things won't be the same when that wastrel Sir Hans takes over. That will be a sorry day. It's so bizarre that it's running on this. Like, how? <laughs> I mean, you can stream this game to devices that are smaller, but this is actually running on hardware. Uh, that just blows my mind. Everything is mapped to the right buttons. So as you can see there, I've got jump. Um, everything is mapped like an Xbox controller. But the cool thing about the Steam Deck, and this is one of the reasons I'd recommend this console, is the fact that you can basically 
uh, at any time, hit the Steam button. It will bring up your entire library and menu and everything else. But if you were to go right and then click on um, controller settings, you can actually go inside and download other people's layouts. You could set it to keyboard and mouse. Uh, you can use it as a controller. Basically, this thing allows you to do everything. Uh, so let's say, for instance, I want to set these trackpads up. So I could actually have that be my right analog stick if I wanted to. Um, if I was to hold down this, I could turn on gyro. So yeah, let's turn on gyro. Uh, joystick, yes. And then if we go back in here and I was to put my thumb on the analog stick, you see that? By tilting the device, I can turn this into gyro. And I'm assuming the switch port of Kingdom Come Deliverance is gonna have that as well. So if we're doing stuff like archery, it's gonna be absolutely bloody fantastic. That's really nice. As you can see there, I'm not actually moving the stick itself. It's just the console I'm moving. And I really bloody love that. But you can change those settings at literally any time. You can come in here and turn off things. You can turn on things. And a really nice thing is if I go back in here and go up here, we've got the official layout uh, by Warhorse Studios. Uh, but we could also download different templates. These are kind of generic ones for all the games you can play on here. Uh, but you can also go to community layouts. And you can see here, people have actually uploaded their own. And the amount of hours played is shown as well, which is really bloody nice. And that's got 10,295 hours played on that one. That is incredible. But as you can see now, because I've turned it off, it's no longer doing that. But uh, also... A really nice thing is if you're a nerd like me and you want to see exactly how this game is running, what you can do is you can jump in here, go up to Performance Overlay, and you can actually see how much CPU this thing's using. You can see exactly what CPU is working hardest. You can see the VRAM battery. You can also see the frame rate there of 48 FPS. Um, and it's just really nice to have that. I mean, right now it's running at 48. We're going to keep that up there and then I can, of course, keep you updated. Actually, no, let's keep this one on. Right. <laughs> Are you ready to jump into Ratai? Because I definitely am. Um, so running doesn't really dip the frame rate too much. We're sticking at 44, 45 there. Um, Pop-in is absolutely fantastic. We have a little bit of a stutter there. Uh, but what I always recommend with Kingdom Come Deliverance anyway is always spin around when you first start the game. It lets all the assets load in. I definitely recommend doing that before you start playing on any PC, to be honest. Uh, but we're going to run up to retire here, okay? And as you can see, uh, that green bar is kind of showing how much work the CPU is using and how much work the Steam Deck is using overall. So if there's going to be massive spikes, we can see that literally happen live. So we're going to run into retire. And we're going to keep an eye on that frame rate meter. You can see there it's getting a lot higher. <laughs> it's, it's, it's jumping up quite high. It's like, oh no, there's a lot of stuff going on here right now. I'm Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. Um, speakers wise, um, they're okay. Um, they aren't the best speakers in the world. They're all right. Um, they're loud enough. They don't go ultra loud. I mean, this is, I think... Yeah, that is max settings for the speakers. There's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right there though, so you can always plug in your own. Also, this thing has Bluetooth, so you could hook up your AirPods or whatever, which is really bloody nice. Uh, so we're currently sat at 37. As you can see, that green bar is really kind of active right now. 32 FPS, 37, 39, 33. This area is always a killer. For Kingdom Come Deliverance, it's always been. We are getting 38. Uh, well, now it's bumped up to 48. Uh, the fact that that's running on high, everything set to high, apart from shaders, is incredible. <laughs> like, my PC struggles with Retai. I don't think my PC does it as well as this. That is incredible. I don't know how the hell they've done this. But the fact we're getting that kind of frame rate is mad. Now, I don't have a horse, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd do the horse test by um, running as fast as I can up here. But what I can do, Henry has legs, and we're gonna run him up, retire. Um, so we're gonna go as fast as I can, and we're gonna see if I can get it below 30. 
That was, that, that was literally 30. Here we go, 38, 36, 35. Uh, we're just going to try and stress this thing as much as possible. Oh, 29. We hit 29. Okay, come on. Oh, he's run out of stamina. Oh, bloody Henry. Ah, oh, right, hang on. Come on, Henry, you've got this. All right, 34, 33. It's normally around here that's the busiest bit. So let's try and drop that frame rate. 35, 30, no, it's still above 30. So this is, in theory, oh, 28, 27, 25 is our lowest. Okay, the fact that this is, in theory, running better than an Xbox Series X and actually looks, I would say, either around the same or actually slightly better, that it is mad. This Steam Deck is 350 quid. I, I, I just want to make that clear because what you're paying for here is a bargain. Like, if you were to try and get a laptop that can run this game this well, I have a Samsung Galaxy little laptop. Uh, I think it's around 800 quid. That can't run Kingdom Come Deliverance. We've done a video on it before. That struggled. This can, and it doesn't even have dedicated video RAM. All of the RAM on this system is shared. So it takes what RAM it needs. And I think that is absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, as you see there, we were at the top of Retai. 25 was our low, but even then, that was literally a split second. I, I, <laughs> what can I say? Like, I'm so impressed. Also, we have a touchscreen, and I can make Henry punch things. Look. <laughs> That's bloody brilliant. I want to hear what you think, though. Is there any games you want me to check out on here? There you go. Uh, I have 1,568 games. <laughs> Have I played any of them? No, not really. Um, also, as you can hear, it's running in the background still. I can actually go in here and mess around and do things. I can go online, I can do other things when the game's still running. I can also sleep the system whenever I want. And it doesn't mess up with the game. The game will restart exactly where you left off. Um, I'm just gonna give you a quick look at the games I have got on here. GTA 4, that is super surprising. I wanna do a video on that at some point. Uh, I got the Skywalker Saga, Fallout 4. If you want to see any of these games, tell me. Fallout New Vegas. Oh. Uh, Fallout 3. And we've got all the rest of my games on here. We've got Witcher 3 I've downloaded recently. No Man's Sky. So yeah, if you want to see different videos on here, definitely comment down below. But for Kingdom Come Deliverance, like, we can jump straight back in. I can uh, sleep the system. Hello, it's me. Welcome. You all right? You sexy biscuit. Um, and then I can hit the button again, right? You're back in that quickly. Like, how? <laughs> how? How is that possible? How? And you and you run in again. Like, what? I love this. This thing is incredible. I want to hear what you think. Comment down below. Tell me. Um, well done to, to Valve for this. Also, congrats to Warhorse. Your game runs on here, and that means I can play Farkle on the toilet. 